So what do you think of my tie? What I want to do with this video is kind of give some practice for my students to start with DNA and go all the way to RNA. And uh, there's some pretty cool stuff in this tie. And this is brought to you by Curious Moran Land. So let's go right to it. If you look over here, this is the goal. And uh, my students need to be able to have a segment of DNA and ultimately figure out what amino acids it will produce. Because those amino acids are going to fold and become a, a functional protein. And that's what really what gene expression is. Um, so this is a review activity. My feeling is if you know the DNA, you should be able to go all the way to, amino, to the amino acids. And you're using this messenger as your bridge. So at various points in the video, I'm going to go ahead and move it over here. At various points in the video, go ahead and pause and practice. For right now, you have your title, DNA to DNA. So this would be the complementary strands. A lot of times people will say the right and the left, or the left and the right. So here's the left, here's the right. And we're going to go ahead and throw out some DNA, pause the video, and match the base pairs. This is what you should have gotten. So A to T, T to A, G to C. So I'm going to pause the video again and rewrite your left side in this spot right here. Rewrite the left side. And that's going to be your coding sequence. That's going to produce a messenger RNA. The name of that process is called transcription. Okay, this is what you should have gotten. And before we go any further, let's review this whole notion of uh, DNA and RNA. If I were to draw a circle around here, I would label that a nuclear membrane because this is taking place in the nucleus. Over here, something else. Now this is really scaled down. There's no magic animation, no great um, nucleotides, free nucleotides coming in. We're just going to look at DNA to RNA to ultimately amino acids. So take a look at the next picture and you'll see we've circled this one thing. A lot of students will get confused. They'll, like for the DNA where you see the T right here, they'll want to write a T there because they say it's RNA. Um, or they'll make that mistake. Or they'll, they'll, they'll write a U here. Well, you can't have T to U. That's the same as going T to T. Bases don't bond to their same type of bases. A doesn't go to A, T doesn't go to T, and T doesn't go to U. So this is the whole essence of showing the U replaces the T. So keep walking through this. So what I want to do next is take this messenger RNA and rewrite it right here. So let's imagine this messenger RNA. Now this process of, of a DNA producing an RNA is, going, is called transcription. Think about it like this. DNA is replicated. DNA replication. This the hydrogen bonds between the complementary strands are going to unzip and new nucleotides come in. You get a new left and a new right side. But DNA is also transcribed. DNA is transcribed. RNA is translated. And there'll be labels at the end of this video. So here we are rewriting this. So you'll notice I got rid of that little green marking. So We've rewritten it. Again, at different points of the video, pause it for practice. So let's bat, let's kind of base pair. Let's match. What tRNA would match with this mRNA? Now, before we go any further, usually my students are never going to have to write this part. This is what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to say, write the DNA or have the DNA. They're going to write the complementary strand. They're going to have the DNA that's a coding sequence. That means it's produce, producing a protein or it's the gene sequence, the specific order of a base to produce a specific product, which ultimately is amino acid. So the RNA, so by writing this, this is one thing that you have to be able to do. You have to have the DNA and write the RNA. Then you got to take that RNA, do something with it. You're going to use a codon chart, which I'll show shortly. Um, so rarely do you ever have to write this. I'm doing this so you can see the big picture. Now take a look at what I've labeled here. Look at the blue and look at the black square. This DNA sequence, although it does not leave the nucleus, the sequence of the DNA is recreated in the cytoplasm three to six bases at a time. Three to six bases at a time. So it controls protein production indirectly, but it sends its messenger to be translated. Its messenger was transcribed. 
So I'll get rid of that. Let's look at this. Look at my code, or code here. I should say my labeling. Every three letters of messenger RNA is called a codon. Now one thing that's different is this messenger RNA is a long, 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 long strip, just like DNA is a long strip. tRNA is bunched together with three nucleotides that will attach to messenger RNA. The other side will be carrying in the amino acid. So let's do this. We got our codon on one side, anticodon. Again, hydrogen bond, hydrogen bond, hydrogen bond. DNA's hydrogen bond is constantly unzipping and zipping, whether it's doing replication or transcription. Once these hydrogen bonds form, their sugars and phosphates would be over here. They form, it's a phosphodiester bond, and then this molecule leaves. DNA would, this DNA would zip back up. And again, I'm not going to do it here, but if I were to draw a circle around here, this is the cytoplasm over here. So let's look at this. We have, here's a codon chart. Here's a codon chart. And the very first codon was UAC. So go ahead and pause the uh, video and see what amino acids are going to be here. And we're going to write that right here. UAC, remember, first base tells you here, second base. So that means, um, what did I say, UAC? UA, and then find, here's the C. U, here's your U. First base, second base, third base, follow the mouse, third base, tyrosine. Okay? So let me erase that so you can see the next one. What was the other one? It was CAG. Again, C, and then A, C, A, G, glutamine. Let's label that now. All right, so here is your amino acid. Let's go all the way here. This three-letter segment of DNA is called a tri uh, triplet. It will transcribe a three-letter segment of RNA that is called a codon. The codon will hook up with the uh, transfer RNA that's carrying in the amino acid, and, and that's called an anticodon. It's got three parts that bond with the nucleotides. Now, what I should do is actually draw a little circle here. If we're going around this direction, that would be the ribosome. But again, this is very poor drawing and my poor handwriting. So there's tyrosine, there's glutamine. I'm going to close this video by doing this, adding in a description, transcription, translation. These combine to make what's called protein synthesis. Brought to you by Curious Moranland. And a reminder, science literacy will make America great. Be informed, and no one can take advantage of you. And it makes the world a better place because you know what's going on.